Welcome back to my lore series about aspects more in my upcoming book series. We're going to be talking about the first shirt story in book six, Excalibur Salem. Yeah, I know you're probably going, but you didn't go over a villain for the last story. It's because the villain is kind of a surprise. I don't want it out of the bag. It's literally in the last chapter of the book. I'm not going to reveal that. So we're going to talk about uh, Excalibur Salem here who gets her own little short story and with good reason she's a human witch she's part of pumpkin havoc's coven you're gonna meet the other one too she's in this short story uh she dual wields wands which is kind of strange but which is used once as opposed to which wizards who rely heavily on uh their own finagling with hand gestures and sometimes staffs uh so yeah she's really good she's ambidextrous with wands and is able she's mastered a spellcraft that allows her to cast different spells two different spells at the same time she's very unique she's and as far as the witch and uh chemical background goes she is an expert in adhesive and solvents so yeah, she can throw. Uh, she'll throw a flask at you. It's either to free you up or to mount you in place. It's not really cool. Um, she is a descendant of the smith that created or forged Excalibur. Yep, that's why she's got the name. Um, she was born in New Salem, and her mother is part of the group that caused the big event. There's no love lost between her and her mom. Um, she totally disagreed with what her mother was doing. She found out about it. She literally turned over everything she had on her mom to the proper authorities. And she's one of the people that wants to bring her mom to justice and put her where she belongs. Yeah, so that's Excalibur Salem. I think the next one you guys might really dig, because I do. I'll see you all in your future, and thank you for listening.